the average average uh, month's salary, monthly salary for uh, the ordinary neighbor is um, about 2,000 yuan. 2,000 yuan. Among net income, they spent almost 40% uh, for food. So if the food price increased rapidly, their real income will be reduced significantly and they will spend much more in, um, in the food, in the basic, to keep the basic the living conditions. So it's very serious issue for government to control the price of uh, food staff. And I think in the future, the government will subside or will spend much money to subside these people to help them to you know, overcome the difficult period. And uh, much more important in the longer term, the government must reform the income distribution regime and to, for example, the reduce the taxation, not only for individuals, but also for companies. Through reducing the tax burden for companies, and in turn, the companies has capacity to enhance the salary and to you know, enhance the income for ordinary labor. And by this way, and I think try to reduce the burden of the rising the living burdens, even expenses for ordinary people. So there are many measures the government should take, not only monetary policy, but more important is income policy, and for particularly for the relatively poor people. If you say uh, the structure of expenditure for Chinese people now, it, the things has, has changed uh, significantly from uh, 1990s. In, in early 1990s, the major components of expenditure for ordinary Chinese people is uh, uh, food staff or uh, clothing, the, 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 basic, the basic products and the basic components of, uh, of uh, living. However, uh, in the past two decades, the structure of expenditure has changed very much. Now the three major components of uh, expenditure for ordinary people is uh, uh, housing, apartment. Uh, the second is uh, education. The third is health care, the Medicare. So after expenditure of the food staff, which I think is, a, is, a, is a indispensable for, for everyone. So after that, they must pay education, health, and housing. So that's why for so many Ordinary people complain very, very loudly, very, very seriously for any increase of, uh, of a food price. Because food price rising reduce their real income and to make them even more difficult to pay health, education, and housing. And of course, the rapid rising of uh, apartment housing is another, I think, maybe the most important issue for ordinary people. Many people complain. We cannot buy a small unit of apartments with our income of a whole life. So how things has become such bad? So many people, ordinary people, tax driver, the shopkeeper, housewife, and many people, even professors, even professors, even many the low level, middle level officials in the government department, they also complain. So that's why this year the top priority of a macro economic policy of Chinese government is, uh, is to control inflation. And along with control CPI, uh, most challenging issue is to control the rapid rising of uh, real estate price. If you see in a figure, the fiscal revenue of uh, central government as well as the local government uh, has increased very, very much rapidly than the growth rates of a disposal income. This year, for example, this year, the fiscal revenue for all level government has increased by more than 30%. How about disposal income? Disposal income has increased less than 7%. GDP increased by 
9.5%. So many people ask the government, what does this mean? What does this matter for me? The GDP has very high growth, the physical revenue has very high growth. What does this mean for me? It's meaningless. It's, I care about the disposal income, how much money I get from my work. So in the long term, as well as in short term, I think that's the first exact, the very first priority the Chinese officials, the Communist Party, should consider the so-called nation rich and people poor, which is not sustainable. Now people are also talking about yeah, how to reduce the power of a monopoly of owned by a state-owned enterprises. You know, for example, China Mobile, China Unicom, China Central Pack. All these big companies has a monopoly power. They control prices. They got. They get. They have got a so huge profit, but they never. They never distribute much dividends to the country, to the people. Principally, these companies are owned by people, but the people never get the dividends from all these big companies, the big monopolistic companies. So people also worry about that. And so, next step in the future, the government should take it very seriously to reform, to reduce the monopoly of all these companies, and to help the middle or small sized companies, which is the major driving force to promote employment and to, employ, uh, to promote entrepreneurship and to you know, enhance the you know, income of ordinary people. Uh, you know, in, unemployment is, is also a very critical issue because of you know, the slowing down of the economy. If people have job, and can have a regular monthly salary, they feel comfortable. If they be laid off, lose their job, they have no income, they will become you know, miserable.